Hey guys, it's Young Mind here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stake in the Fantasy Farm on Dungeon Swap, simply. So, a lot of people have been having issues with this one because you can't just stake your tokens; you need to provide liquidity, and then provide, um, and then stake the liquidity token. Um, so it's a it's a little bit complicated. Um, so I'm just going to run you through it. So the first thing you'll need is a web wallet. Um, I recommend MetaMask, really easy. It's on a lot of platforms, so you shouldn't have an issue getting it. If you're on Chrome or Brave, um, just use the uh, Chrome Web Store. If you're on Firefox, Firefox Extension Store, I believe it's called. Um, so pick that up and then it'll look like this. Now, there's two things you will need to do that I won't cover in this video. You will need to set your uh, wallet to the Binance Smart Chain and you will need to get some BUSD and BNB in your account. Now, you don't need much, um, and both things will be in the description. So basically, to buy the BNB and BUSD, you go into Binance, just buy them if you don't have a Binance account. Link in the description down there. It is a referral link, so it does give me a kickback, um, just so you know. And then to set it to the Binance Smart Chain, again, it's really easy. Link down there in the description on how to do that. So do those two things, get some BNB, get some BUSD, and set it to Binance Smart Chain on MetaMask, and then come back here. So then the next thing you'll need to do is trade your BUSD or BNB into DND. Um, I recommend using BUSD for this stage because it is simpler. So what you would do is basically take your BUSD, you would click max, and um, now I don't have any in my account at the moment. Well, I do have a little, but I don't think it'll let me trade that much. Okay, it does. Um, so you click max, and then you're looking to get about half of this because providing liquidity, um, it needs to be equal each part, um, if that makes sense. So say if I'm going to provide liquidity for D&D &D and BUSD, I need to provide 1.31 BUSD per DND. So say if I buy um, um, 20 BUSD, I can not stake all 20 BUSD because I need to buy the DND if it makes sense. So for every um, 1.3 BUSD you have, you should have a DND. Now it's roughly about half in half. So say if you can buy maximum. Um, 0.54 you would buy 0.28 or something like that it's not that complicated but it's easier when you're working with bigger numbers so it, say if you were getting 20 um and you see this here 15 you would get 7.5 instead that's basically how it works um again not exactly but if you do that you will be okay so you just buy your D D. Then you come over to Liquidity Fountain, click Add Liquidity, and we, we have to do BUSD to DND. &D. So then we're going to click the max amount that we can do in BUSD. Basically, click the max amount that you have um, the lesser number of. Then click Supply, Confirm Supply, Confirm in the MetaMask, and then this will provide the liquidity. You need to wait for the MetaMask to um, confirm it, and then you will see a new token in your wallet. This is called Cake LP. Now, this stands for Cake Liquidity. Um, so, basically, what this is, is it's verifying that you are providing liquidity for this trade. And if you don't know what liquidity is, it's basically your tokens can get used by other people um, to trade this pair. So now other people can trade BUSD and DND using your pair. And the normal reason is um, you get a percentage of the fees used. But for this, we are going to go even further and stake it on the fantasy farm for some insane yields. At the moment, it's 363 APR. I was doing it a couple of weeks ago and it was up at like 500. It was absolutely insane. So just to add it, you click the plus, click the maximum amount and click confirm. Click confirm again, and then again you'll need to wait for MetaMask to do its thing. And after it's done that, it should add it to the Fantasy Farm, and you will be getting those insane yields. Now, 
there is also another great thing about doing this. As you can see now, it's added the 0.609 to the farm. There's a great thing about doing this at the moment. If you're going to be doing this within the next two days, you're eligible for an exclusive NFT airdrop campaign. Now, they are supplying 100 of the Silent Haze Gold Early Holder Editions and the um, Early Holder Silent Haze just standard. Um, and you need to provide at least 100 D&D B&B LP tokens um, to you know, earn this. And this is a great thing because you don't need to spend any money for this. You can take your tokens out after and you will... You have a chance at winning the NFT and all you've done is provide liquidity and earn some D&D tokens for a day. It's absolutely great. I definitely recommend it. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed doing this tutorial. When the game comes out, I'll definitely be doing some tutorials on the game. So, subscribe for that. I'll keep you up to date. And I'm also going to be covering some other games such as Crypto Blades, Axie Infinity, stuff like that. So, if you are into NFT games, follow this channel, like this channel, do all the good stuff. And, till next time, I'll see you soon.